Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Jin Songzhou, a PhD student from Professor Michael Lenz Group. Uh, my topic for today's seminar is balancing warmer state by superhydrophilic directive domains for enhanced hydrogen evolution. Uh, first of all, let me introduce the uh, background. Nowadays, we are suffering from the rising global population, increasing energy demands and the impending climate change. Uh, most energy comes from fossil fuel, which results in increasing depletion, greenhouse gas emission and environmental deterioration. If we want to solve these problems, we need to develop a sustainable and fossil-free pathway. Uh, one potential pathway is to convert molecules in the nature into higher value products. For example, we could convert nitrogen into ammonia, convert carbon dioxide into formic acid, and split water into green hydrogen. Uh, among them, hydrogen as an energy carrier has the highest gravimetric energy density of 146 kilojoule per gram, which could be applied to store, move, and deliver energy produced from other resources, and then it could be directly used in the fuel cell to produce zero emission electricity and other applications like upgrading biomass, metal production, and so on. Therefore, it has a great application potential in the future. Uh, according, to, according to the forecast of the Hydrogen Council uh, to reach the net zero emissions in 2050, we need to, uh, we need to uh, produce uh, hydrogen that is about 660 million tons, uh, which is, uh, which is 7.5 times than in the 2020. Uh, on this basis, uh, the hydrogen could prevent uh, 80 gigatons of the carbon dioxide emissions uh, in 2050. Uh, according to the um, hydrogen development in Hong Kong, we know from the Hong Kong's climate action plan in 2050 and the roadmap, the roadmap of popularization of electric vehicles. And the short-term target is to develop and test fuel cell vehicles. Mm. Hydrogen could be produced from several different processes, uh, which could be classified as thermochemical process, electrolytic process, direct solar water screen process, and biological process. Mm, currently, more than 95% of hydrogen is produced from uh, thermochemical process. Uh, this, uh, this process often accompanies the carbon dioxide as a byproduct. So this approach is incompatible with our version to reduce the environmental pollution. Mm, the ROC process are still in their development stages because of sluggish kidneys and high costs. Uh, therefore, how to achieve the high efficiency, large scale, and the low cost of carbon uh, of the, of high green hydrogen production is an important and an emergency research topic for scient scientists. <coughs> uh, electrolysis uh, is a promising option for green hydrogen production uh, uh, from the renewable and nuclear resources. Uh, which is a process of using intermittent electricity to split the water into hydrogen and uh, oxygen. Mm. The reaction occurs in an electrolyzer uh, consisting of an anode and a cathode separated by an electrolyte. Mm. The different, electrolyze, uh, dif uh, different electrolyzers function differently, meaning due to the different types of electrolyte involved and the ionic species it conducts uh, for the PEM electrolyzers. This one. Uh, the water reacts at the anode to form the oxygen and the positively charged hydrogen ions and uh, electrons. The electrons move through, uh, flow through an external circuit and the hydrogen ions uh, selectively pass through the PEM to the cathode. At the cathode, uh, hydrogen ions combines with uh, electrons to form the hydrogen gas. Uh, the alkaline electrolyzers uh, operate, uh, operate via uh, hydroxy ions transport through the electrolyte from the cathode to the anode uh, with hydrogen being generated on the cathode side. 
about the solid oxide electrolyzers. Uh, the steam react at the cathode uh, to combine with the electrons from the external circuit to form the hydrogen gas and the negatively charged oxygen ions. Then the oxygen ions pass through the solid ceramic uh, membrane to the anode and reacts with the anode to form the oxygen gas and the electrons for the external circuit. Uh, based on these mechanisms, uh, uh, Electrolyzer can be subdivided into two half reactions, the hydrogen evolution reaction on the cathode and the oxygen evolution reaction on the anode. Uh, <clears throat> it is worth noting that the uh, different pH of electrolyte makes the uh, HUR reaction pathways different. Uh, in the acidic media, the hydrogen ion combines with an electron to form the adsorbed hydrogen. Then the adsorbed hydrogen combines with an electron and an uh, and, uh, and a hydrogen ion to form the hydrogen gas or another adsorbed hydrogen to form the hydrogen gas. Uh, this process is called the warmer step, and this process and this pro and these two processes are called the Hirovsky or Taffer step, respectively. Uh, in echina and the natural media, a water molecule combines with an electron to form the adsorbed hydrogen. Then the adsorbed hydrogen combines with a water molecule and an electron or another adsorbed hydrogen to form the hydrogen gas. Uh, benefiting from the uh, fuel pH reaction conditions, the electrolyzer, the application of electrolyzer also be expanded. Um, the acidic electrolyte combined with PEM technology could um, make the electrolyzer more portable. The natural electrolyte is more suitable for the microbial electrolyzers. And the acne electrolyte um, has been industrially applied on a large scale. Uh, also, electrocatalytic catalytic hydrogen, uh, green hydrogen production shows great potential. There are, still, uh, there are still many challenges. For example, we need to reduce the capital cost of the electrolyzer and the electrocatalysts to improve the energy efficiency of catalysts for converting electricity to energy over a wide range of operating conditions, and to increase understanding of electrolyzer cell and stock degradation process and developing mitigation strategies to increase operational life. Also, the warmer step is difficult in electrolyte because more energy is required to split the water bonds. So in order to solve these problems, uh, we design a dual active domain electrocatalyst, uh, which composed of different components has a basis to achieve the bifunctionality. Mm, this is due to the spontaneous electron transfer at the hetero interface, which could optimize the integration between bifunctionality and truly the electronic structure. Uh, however, the significant balance mechanism of contacting active domains depends on the rational design, which requires the elaborate synthesis strategy and tuning the, and tuning the electronic structure. Uh, inspired by the um, advantage of each active site in accelerating water dissociation and the volcanic plot of the HR activity, molybdenum disulfide has attracted much attention because it uh, gives free energy, uh, excellent gives free energy and rich ejective sites. Uh, but it's unsatisfactory conducti uh, uh, electronic conductivity and the catalytic inertness of basal plan limit its performance enhancement. Uh, therefore, we combined molybdenum disulfide with heteroatom doped carbon substrate to form the dual active domains could improve the electron transfer rate. Due to the different electron densities of active domain on molybdenum disulfide and carbon substrate, the bifunctional effect could be triggered during hydrogen production, thereby balancing the warmer step. Uh, we used a fast source step strategy to synthesize the optimized electron catalysts. Uh, the cobalt natural synthesis was first synthesized by using the chemical vapor deposition to produce the plenty of carbon nanotube structures. Uh, 
then the resulting composant underwent a self-assembly hydrothermal process to form the molybdenum disulfide nanoflower decorated on carbon nanotubes, successfully ignited under argon atmosphere. The carbon nitride synthesis molybdenum disulfide uh, was obtained with distinct directive domains. Uh, from the SEM and TM images, uh, we can find that the well-defined molybdenum disulfide nanoflowers uh, distributed on the surface of the carbon tube and uh, composed of well uh, ultra thin molybdenum disulfide nanosheets. And the EDX mapping images reveal that the molybdenum, uh, molybdenum and sulfur elements distributed on the surface of the carbon tube skeleton. Mm, the XRD, uh, these XRD patterns further demonstrate the uh, further supported the formation of the directive domains. Uh, the diffraction peaks we observed can be identified as the copper, uh, crystal planets of copper nitride and molybdenum disulfide. Uh, in addition, the XPS results uh, also prove the successful formation of the directive domains. Uh, the, EP, the EPR um, was conducted by using the DMPO to treat the uh, hydroxy radicals to disclose the water dissociation ability of catalysts. Uh, four strong signals with an intensity ratio of 1 to 2 1 are detected in the electrolyte of the cobalt nitride synthesis molybdenum disulfide, which means typical adduct formed by hydroxy and DMPO. Uh, this finding suggests that more hydroxy was generated during HER process. Uh, in contrast, pristine molybdenum disulfide, uh, cobalt nitride synthesis shows weak signals, uh, indicating that the poor activity in water dissociation. Uh, this, uh, this results manifest that the formation of the directive domains is favorable to water dissociation. Mm. The surface hydrophilicity of catalysts is also, imp uh, is also related to their HER performance uh, because of its uh, direct, uh, direct influence on mass transfer. The unprocessed carbon clothes shows poor hydrophilicity. On the contrary, pristine molybdenum disulfide, cobalt nitride synthesis, and cobalt nitride synthesis molybdenum disulfide can entirely and rapidly absorb the droplet, indicating the super hydrophilicity. Uh, this is because the oxygen atoms in the polar water molecules are negatively charged and are attracted to the positively charged metal atoms in the catalysts. Uh, the electrocatalytic performance of as prepared materials were investigated in one more potassium hydroxide. Uh, the SV curves shows that the cobalt nitride synthesis molybdenum disulfide only requires the uh, over potential of 58 millivolt to reach the uh, current density of 10 milliampere per square centimeters, which is much lower than other as prepared materials and even better than the commercial platinum carbon under higher current densities. The tidal slope, uh, mass charge transfer resistance, and the double layer capacitance of cobalt nitride synthesis molybdenum disulfide uh, are also superior to other as prepared materials. The electrochemical stability of cobalt nitride synthesis molybdenum disulfide was investigated by using the Carnot potential metric test and showed negligible amplification in potential during the almost 28 hours uh, under the current density of 10 and 50 milliampere per square centimeters. The HR activities uh, also uh, was also investigated in one more PBS and 0.5 more sulfuric acid. The cobalt nitride synthesis molybdenum disulfide also exhibits the uh, remarkable catalytic activity and the long term stability. Uh, to verify the influence of the bifunctional effect that, um, that, um, uh, that improves the catalytic activity, DFT calculations were conducted by to investigate the directive domains. Mm, due to the, uh, the charge density of 
cobalt nitride synthesis molybdenum disulfide is shown by the formation of heterointerface interface with considerable electron accumulation and depletion regions. Uh, due to the charge redistribution components with positively negatively charged electronic structure form the basis of bifunctionality, thereby the water dissociation and the adsorption desorption of intermediates could be promoted during HER. As shown in the optimized structure model, molybdenum disulfide active doming forms surface bonded hydroxy and free state hydrogen by dissociation of water. Then the cobalt nitride synthesis, uh, then the cobalt nitride active doming absorbs uh, hydroxy to form the adsorbed hydrogen, then generate hydrogen molecule. Due to the directive domains, the HR reaction was subdivided on the different catalytic sites, and the bifunctional effect can be exerted, resulting in the balanced warmer state, uninhabited activity, and improved electrocatalytic efficiency. The Gibbs free energy of water dissociation for the two types of cobalt nitride synthesis molybdenum disulfide are uh, only 0.42 and 0.33 electron volt, suggesting the accelerate, accelerated cleavage of water bonds. The value of the Gibbs free energy of hydrogen absorption is closer to 0 electron volt for cobalt nitride synthesis molybdenum disulfide, thereby optimizing the hydrogen um, bonding and the combination of the adsorbed hydrogen. Uh, with the strong uh, with the orbital hybridization, the density of states results demonstrate that the D band center of cobalt nitride synthesis molybdenum disulfide shifts to the low energy level, indicating that the adsorption binding energy of the metal sites for intermediates decreased significantly. And on this basis, the hydroxy intermediates could easily dissolve on the catalytic sites which is beneficial for liberating the steering hydrants to nearby active sites and renovating the water dissociation sites. And the strong interfacial interaction uh, contributes greatly to the density of states near the Fermi level of cobalt nitride synthesis molybdenum disulfide, suggesting an outstanding electronic conductivity with higher carrier density. To further demonstrate the bifunctional effect that balances the warmer state to increase the HER uh, performance, uh, the single active doming structures composed of uh, cobalt nitride synthesis and molybdenum disulfide were modeled uh, that possessing molybdenum disulfide as the only one active doming. The Gibbs free energy of water dissociation of these structures are larger than those of cobalt nitride synthesis molybdenum disulfide. Uh, also, the Gibbs free energy of hydrogen absorption uh, far deviated from the ideal zero electron volt. So we think that the bifunctionality, uh, so we think that the bifunctionality with uh, the unique electronic structure can embody the functions of different active dome to avoid any degradation in catalytic efficiency due to the occurrence of competitive reaction steps at the same active site, and to optimize the energy barrier, resulting in the improved activity of hydrogen evolution. Uh, in summary, the formation of directive domains modulates the electronic structure, and uh, that's, that's greatly promoting the electron transfer process to facilitate the dissociation of water and absorption desorption of intermediates. The super hydrophenic property allows protons or electrolytes to rapidly immerse into the hetero interface, thereby increasing the efficiency of the interaction with the catalytic domains. Under the strong orbital coupling of the cobalt nitride synthesis and the molybdenum disulfide, the electrical conductivity could be significantly improved. Uh, finally, based on the two types of active domains and the results of EPR and DOS, Cobalt nitride synthesis molybdenum disulfide can achieve the bifunctional effect to maximize the catalytic efficiency and balance the uh, warmer state. Uh, that's all for my today's seminar. Thanks for your attention.